Professor Osman Ratib, the University Hospital of Geneva has acquired a new PET MR scanner. What is its advantage? This new device is combining for the first time two whole body scanners that were traditionally impossible to put together, an MRI and a PET scanner. It was traditionally impossible to put them together because the magnetic field of the MRI will prevent a PET scanner from functioning properly and will create major artifacts that were for a long time considered being impossible to overcome. Thanks to new technology and for development that uh, Philips Healthcare have developed, they succeeded to put those two devices into one room, separated by one bed, where the patient can go from one scanner to another and obtain images that perfectly aligned of the two modality, where the MRI images provide anatomy and tissue characterization. Combined with metabolic imaging obtained from PET, we can see function and metabolism of the tissue. And thanks to new molecular imaging and molecular tracer that we inject to the patient, we are able nowadays to see and follow some of these tissue characterization and tissue activities very precisely thanks to those two combined hybrid imaging. What are the clinical indications where this new device is particularly useful? We believe that the combination of the two modalities will be particularly useful for the follow-up and detection of cancers in oncology. The combination of anatomy from MRI and the metabolism of radiolabeled tracer for PET will have an advantage in following and predicting as well as monitoring treatment of cancers uh, and being more specific on how patients will respond to those treatments. We also think that hybrid imaging will have more potential in other domains, in particular in cardiovascular imaging and as well as in neurology and in detection and evaluation of degenerative disease, neurological diseases. Which patients will be able to benefit from this new technology? Many patients today already have an MRI and a PET as part of their clinical follow-up and workup and they get those two studies at two separate times. They have to come twice and have two different investigation done. We think that's going to be a major improvement in patient comfort to be able to do those two studies at the same time in one single machine. On the other hand, we believe that having those two modalities together will also improve the quality of our diagnostic and accuracy of our diagnosis. We believe also that it will become a major player and have an impact in some of the new strategies and clinical workup of some patients, especially in cancer, and in, in more particular in the evaluation of treatments and the efficacy of some of these treatments in, a, in being able to follow up the patient and, and detect those who may or may not respond to the treatment that's being applied. You are also planning some research projects to demonstrate the added value of this technology. Which domains are going to explore? In our collaboration agreement with Philips Healthcare, we have agreed to evaluate the impact and the added value of this hybrid imaging techniques, especially in some very specific domain of oncology and cancer uh, follow-ups. We have chosen particularly three domains where we think it may have a major improvement or major impact one of them being for head and neck cancers, where patients get very aggressive surgical treatments, and it's very difficult usually to be able to identify recurrence or changes in cancer in those uh, modified anatomy. We believe that adding PET and MRI together in one single superimposed image will be a major improvement compared to what we do today, where the two images are being acquired at different times and are sometimes very difficult to overlap or to combine. The other domain we have selected is for prostate cancer, where it's very important to be able to detect very early on recurrence of the cancer, and we also have the same difficulty to combine MRI imaging with metabolic imaging of PET today. So we think having those two images superimposed will really improve the quality and the performance of our diagnosis in detecting early recurrence of those cancers. The third domain that we selected was for breast cancer. 
where MRI is becoming a major player in detecting and follow-up of those cancers with improvement in technology, where we can now have more specific analysis of those cancers, especially in very complex cases. We believe that adding the PET images in a perfectly aligned way to the MRI images will add an additional dimension, which is the metabolic dimension, to those investigations, which will allow it to have a much more precise and accurate detection and diagnosis, and be able, again, to follow up the effect and efficacy of some of the treatments. The scanner in Geneva is the first one in Europe. The only other one is in Mont Sinai Hospital in New York. What kind of collaboration agreement do you have with your American colleagues? Thanks to our track record in molecular imaging and in PET imaging, and especially in oncology, we've been selected by Philips Healthcare as the first site in Europe to benefit from this technology to be able to evaluate its impact in these areas. In New York, a second machine was installed practically at the same time, where Professor Fayad is very renowned for his work in cardiovascular and plaque imaging, and will focus on those areas and develop the technology for that particular application. We will certainly benefit from all these developments that they will develop in New York, and on our hand, we will also provide them with our adjustment and protocols that we will develop on oncology applications. The two groups will definitely work very closely together. We have several projects to have collaboration and to have very specific research projects together.